Hey there, it's Brian. And today is kind of a special day. A little bit of a sad day too, I suppose, but we'll try to keep it as happy as possible. Today actually marks the one year anniversary of when my mom passed away, December the 8th, 2020. And, um, but uh, she lived a full life and she was loved and uh, she was a good mom. So, I thought I'd go and visit my mom today, bring you guys along, but before I did that, my mom is resting right down the street from one of her most favorite places, and we're gonna go in there and get her something special and drop it off to her. And if you haven't met my mom, say hello to Jean Naomi Harrell. Nothing but trouble. This must be the place. Let's go check it out. Look at this place. This is really cool. This is not just an old fashioned candy shop. This place was started back in the 40s. And there's one of the trucks picking up the candy. Cool cars out front. But I usually stop in here once a year just to pick something up for my mom for her birthday or around Christmas. My mom would always get us these um, Easter eggs, that, uh, fruit nut eggs they were called, but yeah, this place has been here a long, long time. But they've got all sorts of Christmas candy here ready to go. This is over here in Skokie, you can't miss it, it's right on, um, right on the main drive. Eight months? I'm like the newbie. <laughs> oh, well, I was just saying that this is such a cool old building. I was just showing people the uh, yeah. the photo from the 40s. Yeah. How long has this place been here? We think it was built in the late 40s, maybe 50, 1950s. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's like, uh, I was, that's that's my mom. Oh, God. This is right when she was coming here. Oh, that is so sweet. She's so beautiful. Yeah, oh, she was. Uh, Amazing. She used to, used to come here as a uh, teenager and. Oh. Because she grew up in Evanston, but oh. this this was like her favorite candy. So this I, was a hike from Evanston to come out here. Did she ride her bike? <laughs> <laughs> she did. She did. Yeah. That's it's but, very typical. But that's so nice. You guys do a lot of stuff for the holidays, huh? Yeah. Wow. It's fun. Lots lots of good things. Yeah, good. And people are happy too. It's always like this great tradition that they share. <laughs> yeah. Every year you have to get the same thing. A lady was telling me today. Her kids are in her twenties and still needs to get the same thing and i'm like i'm in my 50s i expect True. my mom to get me this no i was just telling people my, my mom would always get us fruit and nut eggs for easter oh, so yeah. yeah you guys still do those i don't know oh I okay here at easter and, oh that's right oh yeah you just started so yeah, yeah. and i wasn't a, i wasn't a big fanny mae fan and now i totally am yeah working and knowing the flavors because this is a chicago it, it's company totally, yeah yeah that's it wonderful is. Well, yeah. I think I need to get something for my mom before I leave, right. and then we're going to take some pictures outside. Okay. But this is such a cool building. Thank, thank you. Yeah, thank you're you. welcome. And you're Brenda. Thank yeah. you, Brenda. You're welcome. I appreciate it. I'm so glad you came in. There you go. There you go. Look at all of that. Boy, oh boy. Uh, yeah, maybe, uh, I know, let's see, a couple of the mints. Okay. And then, uh, ba -ba -ba -bum. are you going to eat them right away? Well, I'm actually going to leave them for my mom. Okay. So well, they're, they're right. gonna, she, I, I know she likes milk chocolate. Okay. So. And do you want it in a little box? Sure, that'd be great. Thank you. Anything else today? No, I think that'll do it. Okay, I'm going to ring you up over on the other side. Okie doke. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Brenda. I so appreciate it. So nice to meet you. What's your name? It's Brian. Brian. I'm Brenda. Nice Brian and Brenda. That's right. There we go. Thank That's you so much. That's my dad's name. That'll be easy to remember. Was it really? Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. Well, I'm going to tell everybody to come out here to Fannie Mae Wonderful. and Skokie. Beautiful. And what's the address here? Do you know? It's a... Uh, uh, yeah. One, is it a one, uh, 10066? Skokie. Yeah. Skokie yeah. Boulevard. Yeah. Skokie from, Boulevard yeah. in Skokie. Yeah. So yeah. a really cheery... Yeah happy holiday place to come and you can say <laughs> hi to Brenda <laughs> and here we are in Skokie Illinois and this is where we are going Memorial Park Cemetery 
It's actually a lovely cemetery. It's an old one. It's been here for about a hundred years, I believe. Uh, got a nice little thing for veterans. There, that's kind of nice with the American flag. This fountain is really pretty in the summertime. The Fallen Soldier. Let's see here if I can get that. There you go. Really nice, uh, nice display that they do there. But uh, yeah, this place is very nice. And um, I'm just grateful that my mom and dad have a, uh, a nice place to rest eternally. It's your typical gray and gloomy Chicago December day here at Memorial Park Cemetery. But uh, we've got a package to deliver. Now it's been exactly one year since my mom got her angel wings. And in that time, my dad decided to join her. So they are resting eternally here under this big old tree which in the springtime will look quite lovely with some fresh leaves on it and there they are Mr. C.H. Harrell and Miss Jean N. Harrell actually my mom's real name was Naomi Jean she just never liked Naomi she never liked that name and here we have mom's wind chime Get out the goods, Mom. We sure do miss you. There you go. Fannie Mae. And something for my dad. There you go. Well, I appreciate you guys being part of my vlog. Even though you may not know exactly what uh, vlog, it's kind of like, you know, the internet and I use the phone to take, I've got my own TV show. That's what I got. I got a TV show. And you guys are on it. So you guys are famous now. So I just wanted to come over and drop off your Fannie Mae candy, mom, and say we miss you. So I hope you guys are up there hanging out with Elvis and enjoying some music. And now we're going to go off and make one more stop before we leave. Well, like I said, I didn't want today's vlog to be too much of a downer, but uh, you got to observe those kind of anniversaries and you've got to uh, stop off to say hi to mom and dad. Now we only have to go about, oh, I'd say about 500 feet to get to our nest next. Sorry, my mouth is frozen. We only have to go about 500 feet to get to our next destination. And uh, this really surprised me when I looked this up and found out who my parents' neighbors were. So walking around Memorial Park and trying to find the grave of somebody I'm looking for here. And it's always kind of weird when this kind of stuff happens. So I have to go off of photographs uh, down through history of places. And the way that I'm actually finding this is I saw a giant marker from 1933. And this is the marker right here. It's got a B on it. And that's the way I'm gonna find who we're looking for here. Uh, now, this guy, everybody knows him. Most people love him. And um, he uh, passed away back in 1992. But he was born not too far from where I'm at right now in Highland Park, Illinois, uh, October 19th, 1932. Oh, very close to the same date as my dad. And he was born uh, as uh, John Reitz Jr. But we don't know him as that. But um, 
he grew up in Highland Park and then he wound up going over to Northwestern University where he got into drama and he did so well at drama that he wound up getting a uh, uh, an admittance to the uh, Academy of Dramatic Arts in London make sure I don't take out an eyeball here <laughs> As I'm walking through. It's like a jungle. Look at that. That's pretty cool. That is an old tree. But at any rate, so this guy's doing heavy duty acting. He's doing nothing but Shakespeare all the time. And Romeo and Juliet and Othello. And, um, and after he gets out of there, he goes and does some theater in New York and then eventually winds up getting on different television shows. And, um, he does that for a while, and then comes the time when we all start to know him because in 1968, he auditions for a show called The Brady Bunch, being made by Sherwood Schwartz. Sherwood Schwartz. There, I said it. Okay. Um, who also did Gilligan's Island. And uh, I'll be honest with you, it's hard for me to watch Gilligan's Island. But I did grow up watching the... Uh, the Brady Bunch. And that's who we're here to look at today. You don't know him as John Reitz. You know him as Robert Reed. Good night, sweet prince. That's where uh, they get the reference from, uh, from uh, Shakespeare. Now, it's really kind of interesting because when Robert Reed auditioned for the part of Mike Brady in The Brady Bunch. He was on Broadway doing Neil Simon's Barefoot in the Park and getting great reviews. He just went and auditioned for this, just kind of on a lark. He didn't really think he'd get it. And then once he did get it, he didn't think the show was going to last. And by most people's estimation, the show shouldn't have lasted because it, got, it was never highly ranked in its six-year run. So that's where the friction begins. Because, you know, he's an actor, he needs a job, and it's paying well, but there's a part of him that just feels that this is kind of beneath his training. I mean, he's a serious Shakespearean actor, uh, and given different circumstances, could have been a Peter O'Toole or a Sir Laurence Olivier. At any rate, the Brady Bunch continues for six years in his successful enough to stay on and go into syndication and everybody knows the Brady's and on one level or another we all love them and Robert Reed becomes pretty much the quintessential good dad set the bar really high and he always played the role with a sensitive touch I thought now everyone always says that Robert Reed was a very private guy and uh, all the kids who worked on the show and Florence Henderson who played his wife uh, they all have nothing but good things to say about him but he was very private and had a very serious side and uh, probably would have liked his career to go a different way but in a strange way he probably had more of an impact on the world playing Mike Brady than he ever would have being in a Shakespearean play so he stuck it out for the run of the show and it was a success and after the show ended he even came back to do specials now this is the part I find pretty interesting uh, and I had totally forgotten that after the show went off the air Mike Brady Robert Reed went on to play in Roots as a slave owner and um, of course, he did the obligatory episodes of Wonder Woman, Hawaii Five O, Charlie's Angels, and Galactica 1980, which I think you had to do if you were an actor. But this is what I found really interesting. He also went on to play the very first transgender man going to a woman in an episode, in a two-part episode, not just a one, a two-part episode of Medical Center. And that's in the early 70s. I mean, that's, or actually, well, technically more like 76. But that's pretty darn progressive, I think. I mean, especially for the time. Now, Robert Reed uh, actually had a daughter, Karen, uh, Karen Reitz. And uh, he and his first wife divorced. And um, 
God, it was, it's kind of shocking. I didn't realize that he was 59 when he passed away. He passed away from colon cancer. And um, again, he was very private, didn't allow anybody but his very close family and one or two close friends to come and see him as he was dying. Uh, he knew the end was near. And um, so what's my takeaway from the life of Robert Reed? Well, he wasn't always happy with the way life worked out, but I keep thinking of that Rolling Stone song, you can't always get what you want. And sometimes maybe that's a good thing because as much as he wanted to be a Shakespearean actor and be on the stage and be in serious productions, he was in the Brady Bunch, but he touched so many people's lives and brought a lot of people a tremendous amount of happiness. So in that regard, I say my hat's off to you, Mr. Reed. Um, you did a good job, and we really appreciate you a lot. Good night, sweet friends. Well, so long, Memorial Park Cemetery for now. I'm sure we will be back before Christmas. But uh, thank you for taking such good care of my parents. And that is what I call vlog number 11. It's interesting sometimes how things triangulate like that. I mean, who would have ever thought that my mom, Fannie Mae Candy, and Robert Reed of the Brady Bunch would somehow intersect? But in this universe, they do. And with that, I will say thank you so much for sticking with me and going on these adventures. I really do appreciate it. And if you like what we're doing, please subscribe. Ring the bell on the lower right-hand side so you get the notifications. And uh, feel free to share these if you like to post them on Facebook, Instagram, anything like that. And, um, you know, hopefully lots more adventures coming as we go into these cold, chilly months. Uh, and if you have any suggestions for uh, some exploration, um, let me know. Put something down in the comment section there and let me know or send me a message. And uh, I'll be glad to check it out. Always looking for new ideas. So uh, come back tomorrow and we'll do it all again. Till then, bye-bye. Mm,